Hello guys, my name is Tim Diamond Andrew and I'm a data analyst for your business. So for today's session I'll be showing you how to embed Power BI inside of Teams. So without further ado, let's just start. So first thing I'll go to my Teams app. So let's type Teams. That's my Microsoft Teams. I'll open my Microsoft Teams. So I'm going to show you how to embed Microsoft Teams. I'll show you how to embed Power BI inside of Microsoft Teams. So you can see this double dot here. This is my Teams app here, right? See this double dot here, right? It means add more, right? I'll search for Power BI. So I've installed my Power BI. I'll add it. I just added it, right? It's just going to take a little time to load. Now it is loaded. So I'll right click. I'll pin this here. And I see the way the way your Power BI online looks like. This is just basically how it looks like in your Microsoft Teams. You can see your home tab, your data create basically you're creating so you can create like a new work like a new sheet or a new report or anything learn this is how you learn how to use power bi documentation right? so you can join the microsoft power bi community over here you can also see the about so it tells you the version and everything so let's go back to home the way your power bi services that your power bi online looks like just the same way it looks like on your microsoft teams your favorites recent work goals apps so this is a part so i've not really done it half here shared with me workspace so workspace are basically your workspace right where you want to collaborate works with everyone so let's just open this nigerian census regional reports i'll open the report which is over here i can see this report here right i can basically this is how your power bi online looks like your power bi services looks like so i can also it's also been embedded in your microsoft teams it works the same way basically i'm just filtering these are the slides all right these are the different sensors here so let's say um i want to share basically do what we share so i can share it as an email with some of my colleagues like michael it's just gonna take a little bit of time to load michael this is basically i'm not sharing it email um let's say i want to take it to my chat so I want to share it in my Microsoft Teams chat. So you can, you can see the general. This is my company, your BZH, right? Company I work for, your BZH. This is the general chat room. Also, I have a financial modeling office hour. I can share it with some specific people. But let's just say I'm, I'm going to share with everyone. That's everyone in your BZH, Microsoft Teams. I just click on what? Share. And that's all. So they will, they everyone will all get the link. I can close it here. Select so RBI. Just basically, it just works the way um your Power BI services works. That's the way it works in Microsoft Teams because I've actually embedded it. So, let's if you don't want to, if you really say that oh, you don't really want to work on your Microsoft Teams anymore, you can click on this web icon over here. So it basically opens this on the web. So if I click on this, it's open to my Power BI web services. That's my Power BI service online. So the same the same experience you get on working with microsoft teams is also the same experience you get on power bi services online so this is just some of the cool features of it so i can basically filter filter between states using the slicer different different these are just these are some amazing features of this these are some amazing features of this so i hope you guys learned a lot guys so this video is brought to you by your bzh have fun guys bye